Hello guys, this is Pokédex, a channel where I build decks for the Pokémon trading card game. Today we have a very curious deck. I was hanging around on Verbank City Gym, the Facebook group, and I saw this post by this fellow named Patrick Reti, I hope I'm saying his name right, and he was posting about this Mianxiao deck that he was playing, and just by looking at the list you could, you could immediately see what the deck was up to. Uh, I don't know if Patrick was the one that came up with the deck, but it sure is a very cool idea. Um, so I decided to build it. We have Mian Shao as the main attacker of the deck and this guy for a single fighting energy deals 40 damage and you return it and all the cards attached to it back to your hand. It's a stage one, so if we have a Mian Shao in the active and we have a Mian Fu, a basic, on the, um, the bench with a focus sash on, you can just promote it after bringing the after attacking and using a turn bringing this guy to your hand and then the opponent will be stuck uh, having to deal damage to the Mianfu without being able to kill it because of the Focus Sash and then the following turn you can just evolve the second basic with a guy that you just brought back to, to your hand and just heal off all the damage by bringing it, the, the active with the damage back to your hand again if you manage to get the Focus Sash uh, being recycled with a new card from Ancient Origins, Echo Arm you can just deny a lot of prizes to your opponent, so that's what this deck is trying to achieve here. Uh, it, this is a very curious build, I think. Um, doesn't play a lot of cards that most decks play, like um, Shamans, for example. A lot of you guys complain that uh, most decks play Shamans and you cannot uh, get your Shamans out, so I guess this is a, an option very curious deck I think um, not having shaman sometimes it's uh, it's a problem uh, because we simply cannot turn a Karina into more card draw um, but hopefully uh, we can offset that a little bit I did change some cards from uh, Patrick's list mostly because of the, that problem that I just mentioned but I'm trying to play this deck without shaman because if we manage to get a shaman down it's probably going to get knocked out sooner or later so that's like giving away two prizes kind of defeats the purpose of the whole thing uh, let's start looking into the deck uh, so we have for our lucha sometimes this guy isn't really that much uh, needed, but other times it's just the best Pokemon in the deck. If you're playing against, I don't know, Rayquazas or something like that, having Aluchas with Focus Sash on is incredible. Uh, this guy is able to dish out a lot of damage. It's a basic, it retreats for free, so sometimes even with a Mian Shao plan we can just have Aulucha with Focus Sash and just promote it. The opponent <laughs> takes damage on it and then you retreat into the another Mian Shao and just keep going. As far as the Mian Shao line goes, we have 4 Mian Fu and only 3 Mian Shao. Uh, Patrick's list was playing 4-4 four, 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 and I cut 1. And I don't think we need uh, uh, the four, uh, full amount because we can uh, reuse these guys. After we attack we can just play the same uh, guy that we have on the active, on the now active Mian Fu. So Mian Shaos are, uh, because they come back to your hand, you can just play them again and you don't, you don't need as many. Uh, I've gone through games where I just had like two and that was enough, so... We have three Echo Arms in here, uh, it's also one of the cards that I cut from the deck. I, some, it, there were a lot of times that I didn't really need to play the Echo Arm and there were even times that I didn't want to because I knew that I was going to draw into cards and I didn't want to draw into more Focus Sashes. Uh, so very awkward situations sometimes, but we do need to, to have them in the deck because a lot of times we need to recycle the Focus Sashes. So this is an important card. Maybe we could even go down to two, but I don't know. I feel like I wanted to... I only cut one, so if you guys feel like you need to cut extras, well, suit yourselves. Then we have 4 level ball. This is great because we can grab it with a Karina and just bring any of our Pokémon back uh, from our deck to our hands without discarding. One Professor's Letter to be able to use a Karina to grab energy, pretty obvious. And then 4 Robo Substitute, this is another Pokémon that we can just throw in the active position, we can just promote after we use the Aero, Aero Turn uh, attack so that the opponent does not take a knockout on one of our guys. We have one Sacred Ash, also really good to help us realize our Pokémon after they have been knocked out. Two Trainer's Mail, this is an, a card that I added to the deck and I felt like I needed to have a card that we could grab with Karina that allows us to potentially draw into other types of supporters. If Random Receiver was legal, I would definitely try to play it. I know it's a little flippy, but we really need... Sometimes we start the game with a Karina, which is totally fine. It's the best supporter to start the game with. But after a while, we just need to draw a massive amount of cards. So I think we need to join to a Sycamore or a Professor Birch. Um, we have 4 via Seeker to reutilize our supporters. We have 
as far as supporters go I already talked about the Corina and then we have two Lysander also really interesting sometimes to just be able to grab um, <laughs> a Pokemon from our opponent's side uh, and just take that critical knockout and then we have two Birch and four Sycamore um, Patrick was playing Tierno I think but I, I don't think that card is very good I th I'd rather just have Professor Birch Sometimes we get stuck with a lot of cards in our hand that we don't really need. Sometimes we need to shuffle, so I think this card is actually better. It allows us to see more different cards than Tierno. And I think that's what we want, especially in the, uh, the those early stages where we really need to see uh, a lot of different cards. So six draw uh, massive draw supporters. Hopefully you can draw into them, because that's really important for this deck. Um, maybe you could also argue uh, about playing battle compressors here because they allow us to reutilize the VS Seeker but sometimes we don't have the luxury so I'm playing this uh, this way with uh, the trainer's mill. Four fighting stadiums, this is a really important card, we really want to deal as much damage as we can and fighting stadium helps us with that um, plus because we have four we don't really mind benching one early and we can also just use it to bounce our opponent's stadiums which is really good right now because there's a lot of uh, strategies revolving around stadiums like the forest of giant plants and all that for focus sash really important card to muscle band this is a really interesting card sometimes also allows us to deal those extra 20 damage that we really needed to take that knockout also combines really well if we promote a mianfu the opponent uh, takes dam uh, deals damage to it and then the focus sash uh, uh, drops out of the mianfu and then we can evolve and just put the muscle band in there and just bring it back to our hand so safely <laughs> Uh, have a muscle band on one of these guys. As far as energy goes, we have the four strong energy that we really need to play with the fighting types. That's basically the reason why we play fighting types, fighting types in the uh, in the first place. And then we have the four uh, basic fighting, which are, of course, worse than the strong. But oh well, we can just grab them with a professor's letter off of Vukorina. So that that's kind of nice as well. So let's play this deck. Uh, let's... It seems like we're playing against the. Um some sort of camera deck maybe, it's fire type. As far as matches go, this deck uh, plays some very grindy games, so uh, definitely not the quickest deck ever, so okay, we take a mulligan and another, okay, this time we start with a uh, Mianfu. So as I was saying, this deck, if you're a slow player, I wouldn't recommend it because uh, the matches are re really grindy and they tend to take a long time to um, to finish so hopefully we the opponent concedes this game I'm kind of hoping for a concession early concession from our opponent after we take a couple of knockouts or something like that that would be perfect um, just because I don't like the videos to go super long and after a while just just gets repetitive so we just start taking uh, knockouts and denying prizes to our opponents but let's see how this goes so my opponent is building a Litleo in the bench so I'm thinking Pyroar and Entei, okay, we have to be careful with the amount of Pokemon that we put down from our hand. There's one Fire Engine in the discard pile already. I'm just going to put this thing here, just because the opponent can just get a Pyro going and just kill our Mianfu. And we did draw four, but those are very nice four cards, so I'm just happy with this. I have the level ball for next turn, but I don't have the, the Fighting Energy, so hopefully this Karina grabs us. A professor's letter, which also grabs us energy. Okay, so our opponent puts an energy on Ante and he's going to use the first attack. And did he find energy? That's the question, I guess. Yeah, there's one energy onto the Litleo because he can put them whatever he likes. Okay, uh, we can trump his stadium because we have a lot of fighting stadiums, as I mentioned in the deck analysis. And yeah, I'm going to get. The, well, not this guy, this guy, the Mian Shao, and just use it on the active because I want to attack this turn. Hopefully, yeah, if maybe should have played the Karina first, but um, because I really have to draw energy, and if we didn't, I'm just going for a Holuch, I think. Retreat for free, it's nice to have in this situation. Okay, there's the Professor's Ladder, perfect. I'm just going to grab two energy. Sometimes it's, with this deck, it's nice to okay so the opponent is going to deal 40 damage to us potentially next turn so i uh do i risk it yeah he might have the muscle band and it would just kill our mian and we didn't have the muscle band the focus sorry the focus sash on the 
the bench Miancha, so I didn't feel like I wanted to risk it. There's the blacksmith. And there's double colors on the shaman. That's interesting. The opponent uses the blacksmith for just one energy and attaches to Entei. So it knocks out our robo substitute for 60 damage. Okay, let's see here. We have this guy assembled and we have the Mianfu that we need. Let's. I don't really know. I think I'm grabbing a Mianfu. Oh, yeah, the Mianshao is better. I'm not going to bench anything right now. So, might as well. And. I don't really know what to pick, so I'll go for a Robo Substitute. I don't think I'll put it down because that's less damage than the opponent does, so. This way, if he manages to get the muscle band going, he deals the 60 that he needs to take our focus sash off. And if he doesn't, it's not the worst thing ever either because we keep the we get to keep the focus sash. So I guess that's really positive. And we just promote the robo subs so that we can have the turn to put the focus sash on our bench Mianfu anyway. So I think that works out really nicely for us. This is a quirky deck in that regard. We kind of have to wiggle a little bit. Uh, so to speak, we could just start hitting the Pyroar, but I actually think the Ante not being able to put guys down is being a little awkward, so I think I'm just going to, um, let's see what we draw, okay, we have a nice hand for next turn, so I'm just going to arrow turn, bringing that Focus Ash back to our hand, that's really nice, and I'm just going to promote this Robo Sub, as I said, this gives us a turn to put the Focus Ash on the Mian Shao, the Mian Fu, sorry, I'm actually going to put it on the the other one, the one that I have in my hand, because that's the one that's going to get promoted after after I attack. There's a blacksmith. He's going to charge up. I w I would assume he's Entei, okay. Second Entei. Really annoying card, and he's going to draw cards out of that shaman. I wish I had the uh, X Maniac for later. But it's kind of nice that he plays shamans because I might be able to get a knockout with a Halucha. The damage just piles up really nicely. This deck really likes to have a turn early. When we go first it's and we have the energy drop is really good because we can... Okay, let's see. We have another Mianshao, I guess. Mianfu, sorry, not Mianshao. I keep mixing up the names of these guys, so I'm just going for the Muscle Band here because I can deal a lot of more damage this way. And after he drops the Focus Ash out of this guy, I can put the muscle band there as I mentioned and just bring the guy back to my hand although I don't think I would need it I think there's enough damage on the power anyways but maybe the opponent retreats and we want the extra damage I would I, I think this is a really annoying deck to play against um, <laughs> we just keep denying prizes to our opponents so if we play our cards right it's going to be hard uh, I was saying that it's really good to have an early energy drop with this deck just so that we have one energy on the table at all times which means that sometimes we could even um, just Mian Shao and use the second attack which deals the same amount of damage but doesn't bounce to our hand so yeah sometimes that's a nice option to have and we can do that anytime we want because we could either play the energy on the guy that wants to attack Okay, let's grab a Halucha. Or we can just put it on the, another guy on the bench and just keep one energy on the table at all times until we have to pull the trigger and just attack with the guy without having to bring it back to our hand. Because if we, if we keep... Uh, there's there's the, all the damage. I don't think we need it, but oh well. It's nice to have, and we just grab the, fo the extra Focus Sash. I'm not going to play this Echo Arm. I'm just going to keep it for next turn after the Focus Sash dies. Maybe I just put the Mianfu down, because that way... Uh, the question is, do I want this Focus Ash to get taken off? And I think we do, because then we can play the Muscle Band and just deal more damage. And I think I can afford the prize trade if it happens, so... I think we're really comfortable right now. The opponent deals 60 damage to our Mianfu, and we Echo Arm all the those items back to our deck. This deck is also immune to hammers, <laughs> which is a nice thing, I guess, but I don't know if many decks are playing hammers right now. 
or not so switch okay so my opponent is going to use shaman so that means that focus sash is still in <laughs> in play uh, that's a very awkward play i think i'd go with ante i don't really know okay we have a robo substitute so we can because we only have one focus sash we can still do the same trick that we did previously and our opponent concedes that's really nice because that's actually what i was hoping for because this de this game was just going to get uh really uh boring i was i was just going to go through the motions over and over again just keep denying prizes keep dealing uh, damage to our opponent's pokemon sometimes here and there we can give away a prize while we get the focus sashes back into our deck and we draw into them but yeah that's the deck that's how it plays um maybe it's a nice deck in the current meta because of all the monetric decks but i don't really know how this fares against a lot of matchups i guess we need uh, to test it a little bit more tell me what you guys think about this deck Tell me if you like it or not, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye!